Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week here in the garage we have installed the tailgate assist strut on the 2022 Ford Maverick, the part that's available from the Ford Accessories website. So we're going to do the complete install on camera and walk you through it step by step. Today we are installing the DZ tailgate assist for the 2022 and up Ford Maverick. And this is an item that you can get from the Ford Accessories website. Also on the back, you can see that there is a Ford Accessories part number right there. So upon opening the package and laying everything out here, the instructions are actually a sheet of QR codes, which you can use your phone to actually pull up a PDF file of the actual instructions themselves. I put an image up there on the screen, so if for some reason you don't have the instructions, you can use that QR code yourself to get instructions in English, French, or Spanish. And so you do need to have your phone handy or you need to have a desktop computer nearby so that you can print these out. It's a pretty simple kit. The parts include the actual gas strut that will be installed. This is the ball mount plate, which is the lower plate. This is the upper ball mount plate that this attaches to. And then it also comes with a bolt which has some thread locker on it. And it comes with clips to use on the actual strut. And then there's also an oblong nut that will be used for the installation as well. The tools required, and these are required, are a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. I have a socket here. And also a T30 and a T50 Torx. Now you can buy wrenches, but I always prefer to use the sockets and of course a ratchet. And then I also always like to use an extension where possible. I think it's a guy thing. The first item on the instructions is to remove the cable on this side. Now I'm lifting the tailgate up slightly and I'm pulling this loose. Now I am leaving the cable on the other side fastened so that it'll hold my tailgate in place. And then Using the T50, this bolt has to be removed. This isn't too tight from the factory. And that's off. The next step is to install the upper mount. And you can see here, it actually has a bend in it. And the reason why is so that way it will fit on this sheet metal only one way. You can see how it fits flush there. And the instructions tell us to just take that bolt that we removed and simply put it right back in where it came from. And it says to retain the washer. So we're going to do that. And it doesn't give torque specifications for this, but we're going to say tight there. And step three is to reinstall the cable clip. The next step requires a little bit more attention. This is the step where we're going to actually be installing this lower mount right here. It's going to seat right up against the main hinge axis and it's going to bolt into place right here. But as you can see, there's just an oval hole right here. There is no threaded piece that we can actually put this bolt into. So this actually comes with a bolt and a nut that is going to be seated inside there and we're going to install it. But this is a very important procedure to actually follow as the instructions say. And we're going to install it such that you can see that step is actually going to be facing toward the bracket itself. And so we just need to twist that on. And the reason we're putting it on now is because if you try to feed it in here and make it work somehow, you're going to lose that inside your tailgate and you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that this is actually threaded on a pretty good amount so that it doesn't fall off accidentally once you get it inside. Because it's actually pretty hard to manipulate this in such a way that works well, I'm actually going to put a wrench on this and do some of the twisting that down across that thread locking cement. So I get it down to where it's a little bit closer and I'm not going to have as much moving around. So I should be able to get it down to where I have just about the same thickness as that sheet metal. 
Okay, now I'm going to slip it in here. Pull it out. Make sure you're at a 90 degrees so that that lock nut actually locks itself in there. Now that I have it seated nice and tight in there, you can twist that down tight. You can hear the metal snapping just a little bit now that it's being compressed tightly. And there it is. Now that it's installed, you can see that that round cut in the bracket just fits right around the axis there. And I don't have any gaps between the plate and the tailgate. The next item is actually to remove this bottle opener bracket. And the reason why is because once the strut is in place here, that bracket will be interfering with it when you go to open and close the tailgate. The instructions actually leave it as the very last thing to remove this. And they want the gas strut installed first. But in my case, I recommend that you actually take this off first so that after you get the strut put on, you don't accidentally go to test it or play with it or or do something that would cause this to shut against your gas strut and damage it. And it simply comes off. I'm going to save this along with these two bolts that attach it and put that away someplace because I may change my mind about having this later. And um, it'll be nice to be able to put it back on there. The good news is there still is a bottle opener over on the passenger side. So you're not completely losing that functionality. Now that that's out of the way, the next thing they want us to do is install this shock. And as you can see, this already has clips built in. It did provide a couple of extra clips in the kit that I see don't have to be installed. It already has some on here. Uh, that's just a nice thing because those can get broken, they can fail, and it's nice to have extra ones handy. So as you can see here, one of the ends is actually attached to the case. The other end is attached to the actual rod that goes into the damper. And the one that goes into the damper, you want to put down here first, and you just snap it on like that. Then, the next step in the process is to actually install this end onto the ball mount up here, and you can simply pull it to get it up into place. And there it is. And now, when you let this thing open, it just has a nice soft open instead of dropping down and slamming. Well, there you have it, folks. About 20 minutes it took me, and this retails for about $50 from the Ford Accessories website. DZ is the manufacturer, but as of this video, not available directly from them. You have to get it through Ford. But 50 bucks, not a bad deal, I don't think, if you want to have that soft open feature for your tailgate. Now, if you want to see more on the Maverick, we have a lot of content that we've done, test drives and technical. You can see that right there on our Maverick playlist or subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.